Hey everybody, so uh, yesterday I posted a video about starting a new series. Uh, it's actually the same day, but I'm going to post this in the morning, um, giving everybody a chance to see that video that I did, that I posted yesterday, which is this morning, but you know what I mean. Anyhow, uh, I was going to go over here, but there's too much sun. Hopefully you guys can see what's going on, but anyhow... I'll just jump right to it. I said I was going to do a series about um, about my old life and encountering Christ, uh, basically to just witness and testify about God's goodness. Uh, so the first series today, or the first video today that I uh, that I felt that I needed to do was an explanation of where I came from. Um, in in the stance of God Himself and even Jesus, so. As a kid, I, I believed. I believed in God and uh, believed in Jesus. As a matter of fact, there was a picture of Jesus in my parents' living room. And um, that I used to have a, a storybook about Jesus. And uh, it wasn't the Bible. It was like a kid's Bible, but it was stories from the Bible and then a bunch about Jesus and stuff. So I never really denied that God existed. Um, I was pretty much good until I got older, and uh, I guess I got disgruntled, really. I had a lot of what I thought sucked in my life. And I thought, if there was a God, how on earth uh, would I be dealt these hands? Uh, a lot of mental issues that I felt I had. I had a lot of uh, relationship issues. And then I, all, I had a lot of anger issues. And then I got diagnosed with Crohn's disease, um, which really sent me into a whole different level of uh, anger about my life. And uh, so I always say that uh, I was more of an enemy of God than I would be of someone who didn't believe. And as, as time grew, as I got into deeper evil things, I got into, um, yeah, I was just, I was pissed. Like I believed in demonic stuff also. And uh, I remember somebody, a, a friend of mine, uh, who at the time was a believer, and um, he was a good friend of mine. Actually, I respect I respected him, and I still respect him. Uh, we don't see eye to eye on a lot of things, but I will not um, refuse to keep him as a friend. But I remember him uh, asking me in his office one time what I thought about Jesus, and I remember saying that I thought Jesus uh, was just an intelligent man. Now this is going to shock you guys, um, but uh, you know, this is, I know when you hear this you'll be like, what? But anyhow, and I said, you know, his mom uh, obviously was trying to cover up some kind of adultery. And I said that, you know, he was just, yeah, he was just a normal guy, but he was intelligent. And his mom um, claimed that he was the son of God. And that it happened because uh, she did not want to get caught in adultery. So I believe that Jesus existed, but I didn't believe he was who he said he was. And I was angry at God. And um, I remember um, going to some of the churches, by some of the churches in uh, a town called Emporium there. Uh, this is the first time I lived there. And I remember yelling obscenities and uh, some things that one church would keep their door open and I would honk my horn and yell things. And there was a guy who, uh, he was Christian uh, worship leader uh, who was from there. And I remember one day he was playing at one of the festivals that they had there on the streets. I forget what it was, the festival. And I remember yelling obscenities out my apartment window and stuff. And um, so I was an enemy of God. You know, I guess what I would say really is I would just be giving him the finger. Like, I, I thought I was something, uh, something much better than I really was, that I was smarter than I really was. And I, I obviously didn't understand who he was. And you're probably thinking, so why would you do a video like this? This doesn't make any sense. Well, this whole series is going to be about... Um, about God's grace for me. As, as the book is coming out in a little while, um, you're going to read a ton of stuff in that book if you, if you decide to get it or read it or whatever um, that is not good uh, until Jesus comes into my life. So 
here's here's what I'm trying to say in this video is I chose to be an enemy of God. As a matter of fact, I ended up with 666 tattooed on my head, a $666 bill here. I don't know if you can see that uh, with my face. It says, uh, in me I trust, see you in hell, um, F you. I got a middle finger with an olive branch tattooed on there. Uh, I was an enemy, and here's the cool part. Even though I was an enemy, let me, one more thing. I would throw darts uh, at a picture of Jesus. It was like a paper prayer uh, rug that they said. It's not a prayer rug, but it was a sheet of paper, decent size. You're supposed to pray over this uh, piece of paper. And instead, I hung it up in the back room of my tattoo shop in Lemoyne, Pennsylvania, and I would throw darts at it. And there was only one other person that had the balls to throw uh, darts at that picture and um and that man took it that kid took his life um so he was pretty out there too but there were a lot of bad guys come in and out of that back room and none of them would throw darts so this just tells you how much of an enemy i was and how disrespectful i was towards jesus yet in um in uh 2009 right in 2009 he uh, healed me and saved me and changed my heart. I, I don't want to get into the story too, too much um, because that's a whole separate story. But as you clearly see, my life is changed and is different. And it's kind of funny because a lot of people will ask me, you know, who haven't really been on social media or don't really know too much about the change of my life. I've had this question asked many times, and I say this a lot. People will ask me, so then you believe in Jesus now? And I said, no, I don't believe in Jesus. And they'll be like, yeah, see, I told you. And I'll say, no, I know Jesus. See, his grace for me and his the Father's love for me and Jesus' love for me and his grace took me from a place of being an enemy to a place of being a committed uh, follower and one who will speak constantly about him, one who will not relent. I will not back off uh, from speaking about Jesus because I am thoroughly convinced uh, that he is not only who he says he is, but that he is for me and for others, or I would not waste my time on speaking about him. And you see that in the, in the Gospels. A lot of people, I, recently this weekend, I had somebody say that um, my conversion was much like Paul, or Saul's conversion, uh, who ended up being Paul. And um, I've had a lot of people actually say that, and it's kind of crazy because... Uh, Jesus, after Paul's conversion, after Saul's conversion to Paul, and actually it's the same thing, it's really his name, I don't think they called him anything different um, in the Bible, it's just the translations that we see. But anyhow, uh, Jesus had said to him, he was going to a place, Saul was going to a place to be prayed for by Ananias, a, a different Ananias, and he's like, man, that guy's a persecutor of the church, he said to Jesus, or the angel of the Lord. And uh, Jesus had said, or that angel had said, um, but I have told him how much he will have to suffer for my sake. So, like, he's humbled, and it's crazy between my health issues and... Um, I'm not saying that I've suffered anything like Paul. He was he suffered a lot, but... Uh, but I, I, I haven't had many, I haven't actually had a very long season since my conversion of any kind of um, remission or anything. It doesn't mean that it's, it's uh, a bad thing. Um, I do hear a lot from the Lord, a lot, uh, and stuff that comes true. So it's not just me being cuckoo. If it's me being cuckoo, then there's something really cuckoo. But I know it's the Holy Spirit. Because I've, I've had visions of stuff that has happened, um, that I've told people about and it's happened. So I know um, that Christ still speaks and he speaks to me. So in a way, and even cleaning toilets, just a lot of things that I need to do to keep uh, myself humble. Because I do know that I am very, um, very prone and susceptible to falling into pride, uh, into pride issues and prideful uh you know, prideful tendencies or whatever. So anyhow, but well, that's my video for today. And, and to sum it up is I was a terrible enemy to the point of like disrespect, middle finger, telling people that Jesus, Jesus wasn't who he says he was and, and, um, and even cursing God and his people. 
And yet his grace, his love, his mercy brought me to repentance and changed my life and is continuing to change my life today. So if you're an enemy of God today or if you're persecuting him and you think you're, uh, you're too mean to him to be out of his reach of grace and mercy and kindness, I am here to tell you that you are dead wrong. That Jesus uh, has died and paid the price for your sins and that God loves you. It says in um, Romans 8.38 that nothing can separate us from the love of God. All right, guys, that's my first video. I'll get into some more. I'll probably do some later today, which I will put on the next day. But anyhow, hey, be blessed. Press into him. If you're an enemy of God, um, you might not be or you probably won't be for long because if you're watching this video, there's a reason you're drawn to it. All right, guys, peace. Love your neighbor. Um, Pray for your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Be the hands and feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching.